Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I wanted to show you something called tin whiskers. You could see here that there is that little pattern between the tooth caps and the top and the bottom resistor and over here on the left you can see on the left side of that resistor there is a tin whisker forming that's shorting the top of the resistor to the bottom it looks like some sort of jagged silvery earring and it kind of this one kind of looks a little like a christmas tree to me but this is one of the reasons that you'll note that when it comes to certain military applications particularly when it comes to nasa that they are not using lead free solder they're using leaded solder and the reason that they're still using leaded solder for some of these applications is because if you're dealing with something that's in space, you really can't, aff you know, if, if, if it's, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles away from Earth or something like that, you, you can't just, like, send someone out there to, to fix your solder joint. It's, and also, when it comes to space, in space, this is going to happen way more often than it does on Earth because of the atmosphere and everything else. On um, MacBooks, this is the second time that I've ever seen something like this in about 12 years of working on them. So I'm not trying to say that this is super common, but it just looks really cool. So I thought I would record this and share it with all of you that this appears to be what killed this MacBook. So kind of wonder if perhaps they took this into space instead of the, the T61 that they should have been. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. This is an A1932 model MacBook Air. 